You first want to grab this cutting board from Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to be painting it with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color ink. I did end up painting both sides using two coats. You just want to dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and go ahead and allow that to dry. I then just added some Mod Podge along the bottom edge and along the handle and then just sprinkled over some ground cinnamon right on top. Go ahead and dab it in. Make sure it is adhering to that Mod Podge. Take off any excess, allow that to dry, and then just go back over it with another coat of Mod Podge to seal and protect that cinnamon. Now this is going to leave you with this rusty look and it also smells really good. Again, allow that to dry. <laughs> and then we're gonna do something really fun and cool with one of these plastic bowls that I got from Dollar Tree. I believe these come in a two or three pack. So first I'm going in with a dark coat. So I'm using Waverly Chalk Paints in the color ink. Again, did two coats, dry the first coat before going on to the second coat, allowed that to dry, did the backside and the inside of the bowl. Then I'm using some of this crackle from Folk Art. Now if you don't have crackle, you could use just regular Dollar Tree School glue or Elmer's glue. Go ahead and apply the crackle, allow that to dry. But if you're using glue, you don't really want it to dry too much. You just want to dry it enough until it's tacky, but with this crackle, you want it to completely dry. Then you want to go over it with your top coat. I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Plaster. I am using a Dollar Tree cut-up sponge rather than a paintbrush. Just because sometimes when I use a paintbrush, I get brush strokes or some parts are thicker than the others with this method. It just leaves you with a nice smooth finish but now once that completely dries you will start to see that white chalk paint crackle and it looks gorgeous then i just went around the edge of the bowl with some more of that black chalk paint just doing kind of a dry brush method and then just added a little bit on the inside of the bowl as well and this is just going to give you this kind of farmhouse enamel bowl look you then want to grab your cutting board, find a good placement for the bowl on there. I just kind of had it in the center, but more towards the bottom. And then I'm using this Dollar Tree Fix-All Adhesive Glue to make sure that this bowl does not fall off on me. And using a mixture of hot glue and just place that right on. Allow this to completely dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once that time is up, this is what it looks like. And then go ahead and grab some Spanish moss. I get mine from Dollar Tree. Add in some hot glue into that bowl and then just place the Spanish moss right on top. Add as much or as little as you would like. I then had some of these fake eggs. I think I got these from Hobby Lobby around Easter time. Just glued those inside as well. And along the handle of the cutting board, I just wrapped around some jute string. Just continue wrapping it until you are satisfied to how it looks and then finish it off with some hot glue to make sure everything stays in place. Then I made this cute bow using some homespun ribbon and some raffia. Just glued that right at the top of the cutting board and added a rusty star in the center of that bow. Just glued that right on and then made a farm fresh eggs tag out of some sandwich bags from Dollar Tree and just glue that right behind those eggs and there you go guys this was super easy so inexpensive to create great addition to any farmhouse kitchen decor I absolutely love it I think it came out great I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way if it did please be sure to sprinkle the love thank you so much and have a good day bye